Ramadan is a bleak, awful month for lots of people because of pressures, uh, you know, into conforming and, and fasting, but also because lots of people who don't want to fast are forced to or are persecuted if they're not. They're arrested, they're harassed, you know, and I think it's important for us to stand with those who are defying fasting rules and who are being persecuted. It's important for us to do that. And, oops. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> now, the, I, I think the issue is, sorry, Marianne, while, while we're uh, talking about Ramadan, I think um, the issue is that um, the, you have a compulsory uh, sort of um, system in um, Islam that anybody who does not comply publicly, people are punished um, they are flogged in some countries. The, there are some countries actually the, uh, equated with heresy and people are executed in extreme cases. I've heard of that in Sudan, actually. This and also happened. Islamic State. Don't Islamic do absolutely, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you have a range of uh, punishment in various countries from uh, execution to public flogging mm. to imprisonment mm. uh, where Islam has uh, political power. They actually enforce it by uh, police and security forces. Where they don't have political power, they try to use other means like arguing for respect for the belief, um, tolerance, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Yeah. I think that is important to recognize. And what about that. tolerance be, 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 for be, be, our be, own beliefs, for beliefs of people who don't want to have But before a we fast. do that, Mariam, can we just yes. sort of bring to... Those people to the health of those who don't want to fast in support of them. Absolutely, and this is important public standing. Mm. It, it actually, majority of people in Islamic religion societies who do not want to comply with the uh, public uh, announcements and public uh, punishment, and they don't want they want religion to become a private matter. Yeah, and there's lots of examples of how horrendous it is really for people. For example, uh, I just read about an Indian doctor who was fasting and he refused to help a um, uh, one of these, uh, a worker who wasn't able to breathe. And he said, he's too filthy, I'm not touching him because I'm fasting, and the man died. And of course, there are other examples in uh, Tunisia, for example, mm. they've arrested four men. Oh. Uh, for eating and smoking in public gardens. And you see this in Iran, uh, with the beginning of months of Ramadan, you'll see actually public uh, police announcements mm -hmm. about types of punishment and imprisonment they're going to meet out to everybody. And every day we see young people who've been arrested, even in the cars, uh, being pulled out for chewing gum, smoking, drinking water. Restaurants and all the shops who actually sell food or anything uh, of that kind, are forced to close from dawn to dusk. So it doesn't matter who is in need of a medication or a, or you know food or anything. They just close the whole thing down. And this is an oppressive month for everybody. It's very unhealthy too not to eat for so many hours, especially in, in places where it gets so hot. You mm. really need water. I mean, mm. physically you need it. And also, I mean, you, you hear about how it affects the society at large. For example, in Palestine, the... Um, a judge has said that he's not going to do allow for divorces to take place during that month because people are so hungry and thirsty that they make absurd decisions. And there's even news about how in Saudi Arabia the um, you know road rage has in increases during this month. Yeah, and so it's got really adverse effects across the board. So there are different, different aspects to this. One is the health effect. Actually, this consumption of food skyrockets in months of Ramadan yeah. because a bit, it's obscene, really. Absolutely, yeah. at dawn people just eat so much because they need to survive through the day and the yeah. evening. And in the evenings they start, you know. You know, <laughs> they just carry on <laughs> eating against you and they sleep on it. But anyhow, they, it's just the whole the issue of unhealthy eating. That's a separate issue. The import, I think, the issue for me is the fact that state uh, publicly and in where there is no state power, Islamic group or Islamists by coercion and you know pressure, mm -hmm. community pressure, all of those, mm -hmm. forcing everybody either to comply with Islamic groups or. Um, even people who are not sort of uh, Muslim to refrain from eating in front of people who Out are of respect. Fasting. Just, just, just uh, the respect issue. Yeah, I think it's is getting disgusting. ridiculous. Yeah, and that's I make a point 
actually eat during the month of Ramazan mm. and it's important everybody to do that and for the Islamists to learn the religion is a matter of private matter if they want to fast yeah that's fast right, go ahead and fast but do please that. don't make others fast don't just bring because you're fasting space. don't bring and it into if, space. you know and exactly and you know the reality is it's not about respect it's about submission it's about demanding that people abide by Islamic rules and we don't want to and there's lots of uh, people who are publicly eating but also on June 11th there's a protest in Algeria in defense of people who mm. are being arrested and persecuted well so we uh, we uh, give our salutes to them yes. and also in London we are organizing a fast defying protest in front of various embassies from the Iranian embassy to the Saudi embassy and so on on June 23rd that's a Friday the day before the last day of, day of Ramadan, Ramadan. Yes. so do join us if you can and you know last year we had this event it was great the only embassy that called the police was the Iranian uh, embassy and when the police showed up we asked them well what did they tell you did they say there's a couple of people eating and drinking in front of our embassy you know please protect us uh, you know. so it, it, it's important I think it's not it's not a joke even though it, it's quite fun to be yes, able to drink yes. on and, TV and, I love it and make a, pro a po point of protest but I think it's the important issue to is do that it. the issue is that not to just condemn punishment in Islamic societies but also defend the right of people to eat everywhere and recognize that the question of respect now and tolerance is another form or another name for submission. No submission, complete defiance, salute to those who are defying the Islamist rule everywhere.